That's thing. Testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three, three, two, one, testing. <laughs> hey Pastel, welcome to today's stream. Oh shit. All this stuff is slow loaded. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Last thing I need to do is just to announce the, is to copy paste in my link in all of on a bunch of Discords and we'll get started in just a moment. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. I'm going to simplify this entirely. Streamer promo. Copy link here. Alright, going to copy this really quick. And presto changeo. Hey Paraquet, hey Pastel, how are you today? Thank you for coming to the stream as always. We're going to be continuing where we left off uh, last stream, where uh, last week with Outward. Going to head back to the bandit camp, uh, wearing minimal clothes, and we're going to collect everything there, run back to town, sell everything, unless we find a Sorborian to sell it to first. And then we're going to make our way towards the Lightning Dungeon clear that out and finally continue the main plot of this game that sounds like a lot and hopefully we will not get too distracted because if we get distracted you can sure as bet that we are not gonna get anything fucking done again <laughs> because that seems to be the norm for most open world games like this right in a good way I like getting lost I like avoiding um, I like avoiding the main plots of these games as much as possible you not because i necessarily dislike the plot but just because there's so much to do so much to see so many ways to extend your journey so that the game is not finished too quickly and you're not felt left with a bunch of regrets oh almost forgot to do this yeah 
Uh, one last thing. I need to correct this really quick. No, that's, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Cool. Why am I small? Make me bigger. Hello? Without further ado, let us continue in our journey in Atward. Other than burning stomach pain from spicy noodle you ate 30 minutes ago, you're doing great. Well, it's a good kind of burn, right? It's the uh, kind of burn that says... I, I don't... I actually don't know where I was going with that statement. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I understand what you mean, though. Alright. Is it... It's 2 in the morning now. Perfect. We are well rested. I cannot fucking see anything because it is dark. It is 2 in the morning. However, let's go ahead and head downstairs, grab some clothes, sell some my junk here, and we'll get going. Once again, we're going on a on a flat out sprint. We're going to literally sprint back to the place where we were earlier to pick up the junk that I left behind. We're going to be bringing minimal clothing, minimal weapons, so that we have maximum weight capacity. So I'll be bringing the prayer claimer with me. And I think I will go ahead and bring some arrows. I'm okay with bringing more than one arrow. Okay. Bring my bow with me as well. And the armor we're going to be wearing for this trip is going to be armor that is specifically light and easy to wear. And has a lot of pockets. For example, trader garb, scavenger boots, prober mask. These have some decent cold defense too, so we won't necessarily freeze to death outside. Necessarily, though, is the operative word. I'm gonna wear trader boots instead. Full trader burr or trader boots set. Oh, I forgot to announce on Twitter that we're playing as well. Let me go do that really quick. I'm a little bit behind chat, sorry about that. It's been a busy day. Okay, uh, what else am I... Now I need to get an out picture of outward to post really quick. Pictures are a lot more eye-catching than just plain text as we, with regard to po um, trying to get people to join your streams on Twitter. Even if I don't get that many people from Twitter who come directly from Twitter, it's always good to have to uh, just get in the habit of, you know, posting it regularly so that people know when I'm online. So, yeah, a lot of people that visit and they don't realize that, or people that visit because they only find out that I'm online from Twitter. Even if it's only a couple people that ever see that, it's just good practice, you know? Now, if I could just find stuff on my phone a little bit easier, that would be great. Unfortunately, I have too much garbage on my phone once again. I need to clean this out eventually. Alright. Come on, come on. Once this confirms that it's loaded up, we'll go get ahead and get going. Alright, let's move. Let's move, let's move. So, I'm fairly sure I sold all the excess garbage that I wasn't going to use. We have a bunch of things here still, though, that I'm going, I'm holding on to in case I do need them later in the future. A bunch of keys.
Pretty sure I don't need the Bandit Camp uh, key anymore because I used that up, but we'll keep it with us anyway. Bows and arrows, my trusty sword, the garments that I'm wearing. And I just need to bring a couple more things with me. I need to bring some food, for one thing. We have quite a bit of few meat stews here. We're going to bring around five of those. I want to bring some jam with me, or some delicious jam with me also, and some jam bread. This keeps us, helps keep us warm. I need to also bring at least one water skin. And also, I need to bring a, sleep, a uh, sleeping roll, a tent. Where are my tents? I'm probably just being dumb and rolling through my inventory too fast, and that's why I can't find it. That's one of them, but where's my fur tent? I didn't sell it, did I? God, that would suck right now. That's actually kind of fucking weird. Where's my tent? Do you, where? Where's my fur tent? And I want the fur tent specifically because, being a fur tent, it's a lot warmer in cold climates. And Chersonese, as y'all know by now from having uh, watched me play this for a few weeks now, is very cold. Very, very, very cold. It's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I sold it or what, but it appears to be missing. This does not bode well for us, you know. I wish I could just search these things by, like, typing in the word tent or something. Or is that too easy? Is that game design way too easy? We're also out of bitter tea. A couple of these. Here's some bags, potions, clothing, armor, weapons. God, that's so fucking weird. Where'd it go? Alright. Guess we'll have to bring the luxury tent with us after all. Until I decide on buying another fur tent or just crafting one, I guess. We could probably craft one now since we got all these materials, right? Now there's primitive satchel, but there's not, no directions here on how to make your very own tent. I guess it's cheap enough that I could probably just buy another on my own, if I so wished, but still. Man, sure looks beautiful out here, doesn't it? Hmm. Something is weird. Why is... Just my imagination, I guess. Anyway. Need to go back, pick up our stuff, bring it all the way back here, sell it or tear it apart for supplies, and then continue our journey. But before that, let's go ahead and get a drink of water. And also, let's go ahead and eat breakfast. Alright. Onward and outward, as they say. Or as I say. Okay, so. Let's hope we don't get lost in the process. For that matter. That would be most unfortunate, you know? Most unfortunate indeed. Oh, that's interesting. 
I hope you all can't hear that echo just now, and I hope it's just on my end. Hmm. Nah. I better go ahead and turn off this feature just in case. There we go. This game sure looks different in the morning, doesn't it? Even in this winter wonderland, everything's so shiny. Shiny and beautiful, honestly. I think I know where I'm going. I'm just gonna play it by memory, I guess. Because... Oh! I could have totally just... I'm taking the long route because I'm dumb. Alright. Whatever. I forgot, you can just go out the beach area. We should be heading south too. Why are we going just straight east? Did I take a wrong wrong turn at Albuquerque again? That tends to happen a lot, you know. Also, I'm totally freezing to death right now because... I didn't have any of the teas that you're supposed to drink to prevent the cold. That's fine though. If we hurry, this won't be that big of a deal. You know what I also just forgot? Flint and Tinder. I should have not rushed out the door. Without Flint and Tinder, I can't even make any fires to warm myself up with. This is very problematic, let me tell you. If we make our trip quickly enough, it won't be that big of a deal. We'll just be there and back before you can see staccato. Spikes. Yeah, shit. I see Chersonese. We're facing southward, which means we have to go to our left. And then we have to make a right, go towards the bandit camp. I remember that there's a bonfire down there. So we should be able to warm up there and then head back home. With any luck. Yep, I'm cold. Knew I was going to happen. This one's still dead, up to now. I see... Vigil pile in the distance, which means we need to make another right, over here. There it is. I remember this landmark.
Uh, it's always those stupid birds. It's all right there. Here we go. Jesus Christ. One second. Anyway. <laughs> oh! You know what? I probably left my tent and campfire and stuff back at the bandit camp. I was wondering where it went. So I was thinking like... Where did my shit go? Uh, did I go the wrong direction? That's Vandible Fortress. Something's very... I went the wrong direction. Shit. Because that's the mountain right there. This is the... Okay. Yeah. So it should be right here, actually. Around here, these parts, I should say. There it is. And I probably snuck all the way up here, right? Yeah. Pretty good for six hours, I would say. Okay. Everything is where I left it. Bird tent. Campfire. Except I need flint and steel. So I can't even use it. Not right now, anyway. Let's go ahead and start looting the shit out of this place. Hmm. Alberts. For those of you in chat who are watching this right now for the first time, last session we destroyed this bandit camp. So there's nothing really here except for the corpses I left behind, which I'm currently looting. Going to either tear them for up for scrap or I'm going to sell them back in town for additional monies. You can even see where I left all the spoils that I picked up earlier. I don't think there's anything of value here anymore. And we have still got plenty of room, it looks like, in our pack. Gonna sell all this junk, but first we gotta make sure it's clean. If I recall correctly, I killed some people out here as well, right? Yeah. Thought so. What do we got down here? I don't think I've been to a docks in this area yet. Oh, there's a treasure chest I have not seen. I see a trap on the floor. That almost got me. What do we got here? Oh, let's see. A shitty bow, some seaweed, a nice lantern, uh, food, gravel beetles. Cool. Alright, that's not a bad haul, all things considered.
That's the crash ship that we visited last time. Can we enter these guard posts? We cannot. Cannot get that. There's a free cooking pot here. We're going to take that to you and sell it for a few coins. Checking up here one more time just to make sure it's empty. Let's go ahead and warm ourselves up by the fire really quick. So to reiterate what I'm planning on doing with this today's session, head back home, sell all this garbage, head back to the head to the lightning dungeon finally, and go ahead and sell and go ahead and see how far we get in, clear it out, and I think that'll be the last dungeon I found in Church and Isafar. There could, probably could be more that I just haven't run into yet. I'm excited to find them if I do. Otherwise, I really want to continue the main storyline with this game, and when we do, we'll see what it's like to uh, join the Hero Nation, finally. Should be an exciting time for all, honestly. Looks like I've had quite a few new followers lately. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Glad I could entertain you. <laughs> I do have a Strive tournament on Friday as well, if any of you would be interested in watching me get my ass kicked. Hopefully I'll survive longer than one match this time. I've been training. On Thursday, tomorrow, I'm going to be training with another VTuber friend. They wanted to... and they need someone to fight against to uh, practice their moves on. And I will be one of their many punching bags. With any luck, I'll be able to make them my punching bag as well. Their handle is Caridreen. Looks like I'm already heated up. We'll wait a little bit longer just for my bar to raise a little bit more. It's only 10 in the morning, so we have plenty of time to get back home in one piece. I'm certain. Man, I never get tired of this music. Do you? Everything's set to ultra and high. Cool. Because we can afford to do that, you know. I gotta tell, I gotta say, this graphics card is probably worth every penny. So far, anyway. Temperature of my card is staying in a good 74 degrees or so. Not too bad. All right, I think we can go. Let me check inside here just to make sure that we got everything. Pretty sure I cleared this place out as well though. Hey Millie, how are you today? Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for contributing to the Give Loves a Sheer Heart Attack Challenge. I wonder how close we are to um, to uh, finishing it off. It was only 69,000 something, right? It shouldn't be that many. Alright. Heading back home now. Back to Church and East. Big flop of 2007s followed me. <laughs> My friend Kilo is working on an update to the font system. So it should be a little bit better, a little bit clearer. Yeah. Funds to give me a heart attack, am I right? I totally welcome it, though. So no worries. Alright. Time to head back home. One cooking mat added. Disassemble the fur tent. And off we are. Off we go. Let's see now. I'm gonna trace our way from here. The best way to get home is to follow this road. 
All right. <laughs> Is this the best way to get home? Hmm. Close enough. Thank you for contributing, Pastel. How close are we? Uh... It looks like around 35,000 has been raised, so we're more than- we're about, uh, halfway there, actually. What the shit? Not bad. Not bad at all. Exciting stuff. You know what? Mental note, that's another dungeon I need to visit again. Down over there. Which leads to the top corner of the map that has ancient ruins and, uh, Cabal of the Wind Tower. Have I visited the ancient ruins down here yet? Maybe I should do that as well. But I said I was going to go to the lightning uh, dungeon first, so I will do that first. Hmm. This game sure is a beaut, isn't it? Playing this game is relaxing. I guess when you know when you do when you know what you're doing, it's relaxing, right? If I still didn't know what I was doing, I'd probably be really frustrated. Yeah, no shit game. I'm of course I'm cold. Maybe I should be collecting more godberries than I have been. I got room, right? Five pounds worth of room. Ochre spice beetles. Almost home. Man, I could really go for some jam and bread, some in real in a real space. May I should purchase some to or some bread to turn to toast. In the meat space, I should say. It's kind of an event, been an adventure playing this game, outside of the game itself. I wonder what would, what I would have streamed beside other than Atward anyway. Would have it drawn as much attention, or been as fun? If I had never streamed Metal Unit, I would have never met a game dev, or rather, the game dev for Metal Unit, which was really cool. I'm so surprised that I was followed by the developer Neofeud. I should definitely go ahead and play their game. On stream someday. Been meaning to play at least one visual novel on stream anyway. So why not? 
Come on, game. Come on. There we go. Sure, a lot of these trees aren't there. Or bushes, I should say. We got a lot of stuff to do around in town before we can head out. I'm actually thinking, since I'm going to be spending an egg a longer time here in Surzo. I might as well buy that padded the um the furry armor. The one that makes me look like an abominable snowman. Because not only does it look cool, I mean it's also practical. It keeps you warm. Greetings, friend. Let's see what you got for sale this time. Nothing good I see. Thorny cartilage. All right, boy. What can I do? For All right. Lad Hammer, I need you to give me some stuff loudly. Definitely don't need two mining picks. It's strange that he's paying the same for a fishing harpoon as for all this junk. Don't need that. Man. I'm sure making bank. Not a bad hole. 104 silver. 104 silvers. All right, all right. What else we got here? All right. Is there something you need? My good sir, I want you to sell me all of your padded armor, which appears to consist of a fur helm, a furry armor, and a furry boots. At the same time, I'll probably need to pack some my cobalt armor anyway. The reason being, which I'll be being, that it's apparently resistant to lightning attack. And that'll be very important. Maybe I should have kept my fishing rod. Since I'm here, I might as well collect some fish, right? Let's go ahead and do that really quick. Hey, yo. Wasn't there a fishing rod here before? It's no longer there. Did it not respawn? Damn. The game is making me actually have to try. Alright, fine. We'll head back to my house, get a fishing rod, go back out here, fish it for a little bit, and then we'll get going. You can never put your guard down in this game, I swear. I wonder if there's roof access up there. No way, right? Like, how do you get over there? It's the bedroom, right? That chest is empty. This bed will not allow me to sleep in it. You can't access that.
Back to our lighthouse. Do some cooking. Don't need that right now. Looks like I don't have that much as far in uh, hard silver. One second. Welcome Raiders, Axkaroth, thank you so much for the raid! Let me shout you out really quick here. Uh, 9-4. What were you last playing, Axkaroth? Let me check on here. Thank you so much for the raid. My name is Lawler Hicks. I am a escaped AI VTuber who escaped from a from a BB from a uh, Darknet BBS. I don't have a corporeal form, so I'm currently trapped on internet, and I'm specifically trapped on Twitch. So I've been making money here to try and buy myself a new body. It looks like you were recently playing uh, Kenshi. A very good choice. I haven't played Kenshi in a long time, actually, myself. But a great game, especially with mods. Definitely, it's the it's like a modder stream, honestly. <laughs> Today, however, we are actually playing Outward. Outward is a open-world survival game. Um, basically, it takes place in a very strange world, I should say. At the very beginning of the game, you are pretty much kicked out of your own home through no fault of your own because of something called a blood price. Uh, one of your ancestors did did a fucky wucky when you were but a bay when you weren't even born yet, and as a result. You have to pay for your blood price forever until you pay off your huge debt, which is equivalent to like bankruptcy. There's no bankruptcy in this universe, unfortunately. At the start of the game, you actually join your friend on a new venture to make money in distant lands, but you somehow shipwreck here at the very, like, at your port. That's our ship right over there. If you could pay back your loan in a short amount of time, you could not. You could stave off being homeless, but I did not. So several hours later, I was able to buy back my lighthouse, which is a piece of crap. Outward's on sale a lot, actually. If you get the chance to purchase it, I totally recommend it. It's basically a better. It's the way I like to describe it is it's like playing Elder Scrolls, um, except 
like, it's like playing Elder Scrolls with immersion mods and a, a much better combat system. And overall, it's just a better game in my opinion. Um, if only because even on release, it still was less jank. Now, today for today's stream, I was planning on clearing out a couple more dungeons. After playing in this uh, particular map for a while, I'm fairly confident I've done most of I've uh, done most of what you need to do. I was going to purchase some cold armor or some um, some uh, warmer armor, so I don't freeze to death in this game. The starting zone is actually quite cold, as you can see from all the snow. Also, the uh, warm armor is quite interesting looking, to say the least. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. This guy, this person sells it. Is there something you need? This is what it looks like. First, however, I need to convert my gold back into silvers, otherwise I cannot pay for it. This is around how much? Uh, 100, 200, 425 gold... Oh, that's actually fairly expensive, isn't it? Fuck. Maybe this is not a good idea. <laughs> eh. Fuck it. So that's not so bad. I'm spending about I still have around 500 gold bars left. That's actually kind of cool. It's kind of fuzzy looking. Without the trader garb, I don't have as much pocket space, so I'm kind of overweight again. This is my first playthrough. And believe me, I had a very fun time at the beginning. Wait, why is that person just sitting there? <laughs> I will be packing tea. Looks like it's getting close to evening though, so I'm probably going to take a rest for a little bit. To go ahead and dump everything here. You played it extensively on console? Well, that's cool. Well, I would consider I consider it fun. I actually like really hard games like this, so it was no trouble to me personally. To do early to bed, early to rise, as they say. Early to bed, early to rise. Hmm. <laughs> To Askaroth, I actually asked this of all my followers, or all the people that visit my stream. How did you find me? Did you find me through Twitch? Did you see a um, Twitter post or what have you? Try to make a habit of rating people at the end of my stream, so I found you by rating. Oh, 
So it was pure. So it was mostly just through Twitch then. That's cool. I'm glad to see that the Twitch thingamajigger, as Twitch search function, is still functioning properly. <laughs> But yeah, I'm actually a variety streamer. I play Outward on Wednesdays. I have a Grilled to Gears Tribe tournament this Friday that I'm going to be training for. And I play currently playing Anno Mutation on Monday. I usually do art streams on Saturday. This Saturday I'm going to be busy, so I'll not be doing them at the usual time. And you came by roughly close to when I start. I, start, I play after work at 5pm Central to 8pm Central Standard Time on the weekends. And from 8 to 8 in the morning to 11 in the morning on Saturdays. <laughs> so, if y'all are finding yourselves enjoying my content, uh, I do invite you to drop a follow. Always appreciated. I don't know why I keep forgetting to bring Flint and Tinder with me everywhere I go. But that's also a thing that occurs on too regular a basis. Gonna bring a bunch of tripwires so I can totally cheese if I need to. I'm gonna go ahead and craft some metal spikes as well. Cheese or be cheese, that's very true. <laughs> this is just one of those games where if you're not cheesing the game, you're probably not playing it correctly. <laughs> At least that's what Seth would say. I bet. Alright. So I'll wear the cold armor on the way there. Oh, you know what? Bringing a weapon or two is probably... Probably important. Indeed I am. That's how I found out about this game. Hey, hey, people. Lawler here. Today we're going to be playing a game about... We're going to be playing a game that's an exercise and self-mutilation. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> I need to bring a potion or two. Hmm. Ah! Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Awesome. You are now officially a loli. Welcome to lol's time. And you're now trapped here forevermore, at least unless you decide to unfollow, which I really hope you don't, because that would make me very sad. <laughs> uh, who would have thought that liking Seth would get me some street cred on the, on the interwebs, am I right? <laughs> but seriously, uh, thanks for the follow, I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope I can entertain you further. Usually we, play, usually we actually play virtual reality games on Friday, but this Friday we are reserved for... Good old Guilty Gear Strive. Alright then. I think I am ready to embark on the town. We are going to go to the Lightning Dungeon, loot the shit out of it, and then head back home. It's only 4 in the morning. We got plenty of time. So, besides Kenshi, what do you usually stream?
It is morning, right? Five in the morning, yeah. And we have to get all the way over there. Right now you're streaming seven days to die with friends, Kenshi and Kingdom Hearts 1, level 1. That's cool. I'm a big fan of the original Kingdom Hearts myself. So, good choice. Good choice in game. go ahead and eat some weight. Am I not getting cold? Does this armor just eliminate cold uh, getting cold period? Wow. I don't feel so bad about spending all that money on it now. It does. I'm no longer cold. Awesome. Awesome. I guess I have like perfect cold resistance or something like that. Yep. Yeah, yep. 40 defense. Yep. That would do it. Onwards to the Lightning Dungeon, which is right there. I could have totally saved myself some time, though, if I had taken the shortcut, which I think I will. Because, why not? Why not? <sighs> oh, I can't believe it's already halfway through this week. This day went by fast, too, for some reason. Strange. One second. There we go. Now I'm facing forward. Enter Serzo Sorge once more. Once more, once more. How long have I been on Twitch? Not very long. I'd say since November. I had a cancel longer than that, but I was never really a fan of Twitch until I became a VTuber. Same thing, actually, same story goes for um, Twitter. Mm -hmm. Why do you ask? Oh, they're still dead up to now. I guess they didn't respawn. Oh, just curious? Okay. No problem. What about you? I have determined that I actually cannot navigate these caves without light, even in spite of how many times I've done so. A bit over a year? Cool. Uh, how's streaming going for you?
You cannot block magical blasts, they claim. They claim. Did nothing here respawn yet? Everything is still dead? Rip. Well, damage the facts, I guess. Nothing to do about that. Ooh, blue sand. Awesome! I feel like that's the best way to approach uh, Twitch and similar platforms, honestly. Just have fun with it. That's weird. How come eating the, uh... Hmm. It did not update my fatigue thing. Oh well. None of this shit has respawned. Damn. Alright then. I guess then we will just continue on our path to go to the lightning dungeon. <laughs> Since there's not much else we could do at the moment. Look like a really fat stormtrooper. Or something. Let me go in this direction. Let me go in right there. Pure East. You think things respond when you move between regions? Possibly. Maybe it'll come back when I leave, the, when I finally finish my errands here. I think the bandits respond fairly fast, though. All things considered. Okay. Hmm. Is it just me, or is the screen kind of... There's a little bit of fuzziness around my character when I'm moving. That I didn't notice before now. I wonder what's causing that. Ah, the bridge. We are on the right track. I believe.
Indeed it is. Sometimes not having fast travel can be frustrating, but I prefer it off. I didn't really like, didn't really like using fast travel in Elder Scrolls games either for the same reason. There it is, our destination. Not the bandit village, not the uh, bandit town, which I just cleared out in the last session. But what's right behind it? Still, I wasn't expecting this clothing, this armor, to just fully cancel out the uh, cold feature, the uh, cold system. Very unexpected. But you know. Convenient. You can even see the corpses I left behind, right? <laughs> Wonder what's up here. It's nice that the game lets you, like, climb mountains and shit. Check that out. There it is. That glowing yellow thing in the distance. That's our destination. No survivors is right. Alright, now we need to get down from here without getting ourselves killed somehow. This works. It's a shame we can't enter that ship. I also like how all the crew, all the fauna in this game is just huge, mega fauna. Hey, cr hey, it's oil. Can sell this for a pretty penny. And some crab eye. I tried to get up there once, and it didn't go so well. In fact, I tried to get up there several times, if I recall correctly. There's also some fish here. But once again, I do not have... Wait! Okay. Pretty sure the game's not going to let me get up there, though. Yeah, it's not going to let me get up there, sadly. I would love to see if there's anything up there, though. Like, I wonder if I can... You hear that? I thought I heard something. But, pretty sure the game is physically blocking me from accessing the ship, sadly. Here we are, though. Our define our destination. It's almost like the game is telling me that I'm supposed to be using traps for this uh, section, for this dungeon, right? Yeah, that's true. All right, here we go. This is going to be fun. Why didn't I fill up with water before I left? I'm so stupid. Voltaic Hatchery. We're going to be hunting babies tonight, chat. And we're going to love it. The Pikachu Barrow, that's very right. That's very right. Have I been down here before? Why are there so many dead bodies?
We'll loot after we kill everything inside here. If I call correctly, there were some very scary motherfuckers in here too. Like, um... Golems or something? I don't know. We're about to find out just what awaits us in this dark... I mean, in this dark dungeon. Thank you for the head, Patty Risu. Mm -hmm. I dare say I could use one right now because check all this shit. Yeah, I am going to cheese the fuck out of this. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not fighting those guys head on. They scare me. They scare me. They scare me. How are you doing today? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spooky game indeed. And it will only get spookier. Nice. What anime are you watching? Do -do -do. Well, you know what would be really funny right about now? If I get attacked from behind. Oh, Shokuge Shokugeki no Soma. That's one of my favorites, too. I haven't read it in a while, though. The last time I read it, I think I stopped when um, his bastard brother came out of nowhere and defeated his dad. Because I haven't read it since. My understanding is that the series is now over, but I need to get back to it. <laughs> is the anime any good? I heard only good things about it, actually. Damn, I can't make any more tripwires. This is so sad. Thankfully, I have alternatives means of accomplishing my objectives. Oh. Do I have enough arrows is the question. Seth would be proud. Indeed he would. Fuck! Game? Ah, uh, Invisible wall. Let's wait for the cooldown to reset. <laughs> I really wish I could coat my arrows in this stuff too. That'd be fairly useful, wouldn't you say? Alright, once more. Once more with feeling. Are you fucking with me right now, game? Wow. Alright, fine. I don't... I don't enjoy putting myself in further harm's way. Oh, shit! Are you... God damn it. Well, this has just gone to hell in a hat and back again. Um, turn off... Turn off the... That barely did any damage to any of them. Wait, nope, it almost killed one of them. Oh, shit. How did they not hit me? Actually, uh, probably not a good question to ask right now. Ow, shit. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Good thing I'm wearing such great armor, huh? Well, I got one of them. Alright, now to provide this one properly. Ow, fuck. I just wasted that. 
I am out of stamina. I can't even fight him now unless... Drop the bag. There we go. Okay. I got still at half health. I just need to regain enough stamina to not die. Booyah! I won. For now. For now. Let's see, golden minion. Ooh, fancy stuff. Palladium scrap. Cool. All right, let's explore deeper into this darkest dungeon, shall we? I also need to stop myself from bleeding to death, don't I? Well, metaphorically speaking. What I really need are more tripwire traps, actually. Big gaming. Iron vein? Ow! What did you throw at me? Why do you do this to me? Yo, guys, it appears that we're in StarCraft. This must be a Zerg lair. Yeah, I can't damage it or anything. That's sad. Wonder what these big crystal formations are. It's a lot of strange goop. That looks like an eye. Very bizarre. Such violence. Very... Hog. Oh man, that looks like a it's a fucking lightning dinosaur or something. I definitely need to cheese that one, but I do not have enough materials to build more trip wires. Or do I? What can I tear apart in my here in my thing here? No, I definitely don't. Yeah, I'm definitely not tearing apart my clothes just to do this. We're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way, I guess. Alright. We're going to put a trip wire over here at the top of the stairs. We're gonna pelt him full of arrows. And we're just going to uh, juke him. Maybe poison? That might work. It's worked before on creatures like this. Oh. I almost forgot to... Alright. Gonna turn off my lamp as well. Is that a cannon? Does he have a fucking gun? What the shit? Uh, he didn't even respond to that one, did he? Uh-oh. Uh, the AI is smart enough to... Oh, shit. I feel like a Native American fighting off the British right now. They know how to hide, too, apparently. Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, it's homing! It is homing! Um, it didn't do that much damage, though. So, maybe what I can do is I can cripple it. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe? Is that all he's got? Can he only fire his gun at me? If that's all it is, then maybe I can just take him out with my... 
Yeah. I hope one of his buddies doesn't pop out of nowhere. That would suck right about now, you know? Alright, poison mode activate. Oh, shit! What was that? I don't know what the fuck that was, but it was not pleasant. Alright. I was told by a different uh, follower that apparently I have a heavy strike, and... Is that it? Wow. Hey... Midnight, how are you today? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Orion. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, first try. Um, I just finished yeeting the shit out of this scary golden motherfucker that looks like a dinosaur. A dinosaur skeleton with, like, uh, golden leaves sticking out of his face and whatnot. And he's carrying this rune cannon thing. This game is amazing, let me tell you. Is that Japanese? It is Japanese, actually. What does it say? Or is it kind of... Eh, that's, uh... Hmm. Interesting. Welcome to the stream. So, I'm reading a lightning dungeon that's full of, uh... A, so it's called a Voltaic Hatchery. It has, um, lightning people living in it or something. And I'm looting their corpses and stealing their junk. I wish I could steal this giant cannon off it. That would be very useful in the game to come. But I cannot, so I must, uh... I must settle with what I can... Um, steal. What I can loot. How are you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, the genre of this game is suddenly becoming very strange. We start off with a... Do you guys hear that? It sounds like a glubbing, glugging noise. Well, anyway. Um. This game has changed from a fantasy, medieval game-ish thing to sci science fiction. We got, like, uh, laptops and shit going on in here. We got this fancy schmancy, um, fancy schmancy uh, setup. The game doesn't have any lore as far as, like, books you can read and stuff, so there's nothing that really explains any of this, but it's really fun to, like, discover new locales and to kill random civilians to gather their lost artifacts, which I do not know how to use. Anyway, let's continue. Let's uh, explore further down, shall we? Also, you got all this weird, gross stuff that's growing on the walls and whatnot. I don't know if they're, like, part of these, uh, voltaic creatures or what. I should also probably heal myself, hmm? Alright. Hmm, those mushrooms are not harvestable. Very interesting. Let's go explore this room really quick before we go further in. Science and biomass always a good combo. Yeah. For a horror game. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that chat looks just lovely. Some sort of energy shield. Looks like we got another, um, got another friend over there. He heard me, uh, the clap of my ass cheeks. Oh, that's, that's definitely a zergling. Of some kind. Oh, fuck me! He has knocked down? Alright, we're temp doing a temporary retreat. We need to heal. And we uh, need to regain sanity. Or something. Fuck, they're fast. This is a big, mo big guy. This guy's bigger than the previous ones, I think. And he's right behind me, and he's moving very fast. Alright. Need to turn off the... Yeah, motherfucker! 
How do you like them apples? This is a terrible idea, and I am going to die. Just running in the dark. I literally cannot see. I'm going to get lost. I will get lost and kill myself. I am being raided by a party from Tamaris Morgan. Welcome to Lull's Time. I am your host, uh, Lawler Hicks, an escaped AI. I'm about to die. I need to eat food really fast. Uh, human, This is how humans eat food, right? They just shove a bowl of soup into their face. Welcome, raiders. Um, it appears that the my pursuer has disappeared. Let's heal. Oh, he's just stuck in the wall geometry. Oh, oh, whoa, shit. No, 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 no. Uh, switch to arrows. Eat sniper shot, bitch. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. That took off a significant chunk of my health. And I'm still running. Because I cannot fucking see. I'm getting stuck on the walls. Oh, man. It's gonna be do or die fairly soon, chat. But I'm not sure if I can defeat such an enemy as I am right now. The only thing I can do is run and uh, use recovery items like a little bitch. I'm out of traps. I cannot... Hey, Steel. Hey, Steel. I need some of your loving right now because I'm about to die again to uh, Big Glowy. A very angry Big Glowy. Um, I need to eat something. I need... Wait, I'm really stupid. I have potions. All right. Let's uh, fight, bitch. You and me, mano mano. Yeah, that's right. Come at me, come at me, bro. Eat. Confusion, bitch! One second. Oh, how are you still alive? God damn it. And once again, another victory for the AI Master Race. Thank you, thank you very much. Seriously, look at who, who thought of this. It's like a combination of dinosaur... Uh, it's a. It looks like a maple leaf. Those are maple leaves, chat. I always knew that the Canadians were in the co were coming to kill us eventually, right? Um, the bolt varnish, another gold mechanism. These are apparently robots. Robots that look like a cross between a dinosaur, a maple tree, and um, a zergling, I guess. A hydralisk, perhaps. If you may, perhaps. I have a few people here to shout out for the raids. Tamaris Morgan. How you guys doing? Were you guys uh, making art again? Tamaris is an artist and also a VTuber. Okay, so let's continue our exploration. Let's continue um, invading the shit out of this uh, dungeon. <laughs> Whoa! This is freaky, chat. We got an energy shield here. Uh, thank you very much for the 69 bits, Steel. Always appreciated. Um, that money will eventually go towards getting me a boom for my mic. So that's... That's another one over there. I would have... I... It also go towards um, making back the money that I spent on the graphics cards that allow that's allowing me to even stream as well as I am. Working on a new on a new character suit design. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Very nice. Um. So, got these big biomass things here. They're pulsating. I guess that stuff all over the walls was not an infection. It was intentional. There's one more. Uh, uh, Robot creature over there. My lantern just went out, chat. I don't have the materials to make a torch to make campfires right now. So we are running in the dark. And I did not bring any torches with me. We should probably... If I was smart, I would head back right now. Uh, and get some... Make some campfires and stuff. But I am not smart. I'm going to stick around and fuck around with this ornate chest. An ice flame torch? That can work. A half plate armor? We could sell that for some dank loot. Trip wires! Yes. More trip wires. Bit machine broken, they won't send. It says here on my end that. Oh, thank you for more bits. Ah! 
That's the first time that you've ever no one's ever activated that effect. When you when a certain number of bits are sent are sent to me, my model starts to glitch out. My avatar starts to glitch out. It's just my way of showing appreciation for chat, you know? Even right now, only 100 bits is actually causing me to kind of spurg just a little bit. Um, you have to give me a second here. <laughs> this this could take a while. Alright, have, have a good one, uh, Tamaris. Thank you for visiting once again. Thanks for the raid. I got raided twice in one stream. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, it is working this time. This uh, it's probably gonna last for a while. You're gonna talk to me later. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by, Steel. See you later. All right, so let's go ahead and set up a trap here, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, kill this buddy as well. Wait, no, that person's already dead. We're actually on the top floor now. Cool. All right, let's continue cleaning out this dungeon, and then we will go ahead and head out. I wonder if there's a way to break this, uh, break this thing. It almost looks like a prison cell. Like someone is being held prisoner here. I wonder if there is a way to break them out of that cell. There probably is. Let's look around a bit, chat. Maybe. Oh. You've already been here before, haven't you? I see how it is. Uh, blood splatter. Hmm. Alright, I admit, navigating this game without any, to any form of light is a terrible idea, and I should feel bad. I wonder if the ice flame torch... Also, yes, yes, it does. Except it's also making me cold, so I can't use this for too long. Star mushrooms. Fog. Huh, I am wearing, well, hmm, let's try wearing the cold armor, that's actually a good idea. It doesn't look like there's anything else to divide here anyway. Hmm. I can only guess that I've managed to kill everything that was guarding this facility, so... I wonder if I can break this. Hmm. Huh? Why is the music playing again? No! What the fuck? Where'd you come from? Oh, I see your game. You're leading me down here into a trap. Well, two can play at this game, buddy. And guess what? I'm going to be the one on top. Maybe. This bastard is fast. Damn. One second, chat. Oh, he's glowy eyes and everything. All right. Oh, he used magic. That's not fair. Oh, of course you dodge roll. Gee. I need to switch back to my anti-electricity armor. That works. He missed, even. Guess who has discipline now, bitch? 
Oh, man. Alright, I got him. I got him. I got him. Loot the golden minion. Too bad I can't loot their awesome halberds. I made it, chat. I've come out on top once again. I'm suffering from lightning damage, though. That's gonna smart for a while. How do I see... Doomed? Balls. It's gonna last for a while, too. Remember when this was scary? I do remember when this was scary. <laughs> I mean, I still need to try, but I don't need to try as hard, I guess. Ah, oh, there's another of this bugger. Let's go ahead and, uh, actually I'm gonna save my traps for later. Who knows, we might actually need it, you know? Did I miss? Damn it. Ow. Fuck me. Ow, 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 ow. That hurts. Stop targeting him, damn it. And pick this up. Yoink. I'm just gonna yoink out if you nope out of here for the time being. I am lost. I am completely lost. Shit. He's actually almost dead too. Well he's at half health. Am I bleeding? I'm not bleeding. Geronimo! Alright, he's gonna take the long way around. Good. That gives me time. Time I do not have. I forgot I have health potions. Where is he? Come on, I know he's coming. He's not coming. Never mind. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd you go, buddy? Where did you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? No, he didn't go back here. He must be upstairs still. Weird. Yeah. He's gone. I guess I'll know if he comes back if I just hear the music change all of a sudden. I got a bad feeling about this, Chewy. Hey, blue sand. Huh. Very interesting. Is that a ship? It is a ship. Got more of those pulsing uh, thingamajiggers there. And we got a... Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what fresh horror I've unlocked from its cage, now that I've turned off the uh, device that was powering it. Something quite nasty, I'm sure. What the fuck is this? Is this the... An exit? Interesting. Is that thing alive? 
What is that? Oh, I see. If I, ex if I exit through here, I won't be able to come back. So let's not exit through there. I really like the dungeon design in this game, too. Feels kind of reminds me a lot of a D&D uh, dungeon. Definitely not as straightforward and as, well, frankly, uh, on rails as a Elder Scrolls dungeon. Or at least a Skyrim dungeon. Oblivion was better about things like this, too, at the time. You know, I still don't get it. Um... I could have sworn that the guy, that the uh, mook followed me here. And I fell off here. So, there it is. It just took him a long time to get to uh, get down there, I guess. Ah! Eat shit! I'm almost out of arrows, too, shit. So. I could, at this point, I could probably finish him off, huh? Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> I totally deserve that. I, I, total, I totally deserve that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna teabag your corpse. That was, that was totally my fault. <laughs> I, I didn't expect him to come back up there so quickly. <laughs> Well, he's dead now. Sucks to be you, pal. Oh. I see. So he was just stuck on the geometry the whole time. Alright then. Uh, we already opened his chest, right? Yeah. So... I flipped one of the switches, but these things are still powered, which means there must be more somewhere. Hmm. Let us investigate. Easy, Chewy. Sure I am. I've gone this far, haven't I? I still got about 24 pounds worth of space to store crap in. Um, actually I should probably take a rest at some point, right? It's 12 in the morning. Hmm. I wonder if it's safe enough to just set up camp here. Except I can't set up a campfire right now. And I think I'm almost out of food. Definitely out of tea. Man, I did not prepare very well for this trip, did I? So, this one's off. There's an entire further area underground here. There's like a ship or something over there. So, let us descend further into the Mountains of Madness. If we can, I mean. I don't see any obvious uh, entrances or exits. Here we go. I really did not prepare very well for this trip, though. This is very bad on my part. I don't even have any wood with which to... Well, you know, we'll see what happens. No, no, we are not drinking the river water. That's true. Honestly, I was not prepared for this dungeon to be as long as it was. I was expecting it to be another two-minute dungeon like the rest have been. Oh, 
Well, this is not spooky at all. Huh. It's almost kind of calm down here, actually. Found another corpse. A looter. Some cool, cool potion. You are very cold. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm very cold. <laughs> Shit. There's a lot of blue sand down here, too. Very poggers. Azure shrimp. Some salt as well. So, an iron mine. Very interesting. Man, I'm legit, like, invested. I don't know what to expect from just running around this uh, underground here. I feel like I could get lost at any second, too. I'm probably already lost, actually. Uh, oh, what the fuck was that? Who goes there? What was that? Indeed it is. I hear walking around. Someone is there. Clank, clank, clank goes my armor. Oh, it's just mantis shrimp. That's not a big deal. I literally eat these things for breakfast now. Ha! You thought, bitch! I'm wise to your ways now. Activate discipline. What up? Motherfucker. How's that impact damage for you? And he's dead. Friendship or hardship? <laughs> How about equal amounts of both? Alright. It's so a good thing I said that today we're going to be visiting the Lightning Dungeon because it looks like we are going to just be here the whole session. Which is actually kind of cool. That they actually have dungeons big enough in this game that it feels like you're actually, you know, exploring a dungeon. As opposed to just killing two enemies and leaving in a one single room. Really wish I brought more supplies with me, though. This will not do. The only food I have left is going to make me sick if I eat them raw. Oh! Another mantis shrimp. One second. Wait, is this the same one from before? Oh, there's two of them. Damn it. Ow, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Bastard. Do I have any restorative items anymore? 
I do have one left. Alright. Hi there! Remember when mantis shrimp were hard and they scared the fuck out of me? Yeah, I remember. That's why I take absolute glee in killing the shit out of them. So you do need to find and turn all of them off, okay. That does look like the remains of a ship of some kind. Another iron vein. Hmm. There's some garbage here. Is that a chest? Can I can I open the chest? Give me the chest. Give me the chest game. It's not gonna give me the chest, I'm sad. Alright, so that's two of them. I wonder if that's all, or if there's another hidden one around here somewhere. Let's look around, chap. At this point, I've invested enough time into... Oh, another one! Yes, hello to you too, buddy. Hello to you too. I'm so glad that I brought these with me. Uh, that didn't work as well as I was hoping, but it's alright. You're still dead. No, don't drink the river water. It's not a good idea, fam. River water is not good for you. You know? Sure a lot of iron veins now. What's the game trying to tell me? How big is this cave system? Shit, man. I've been here before. I mean, I get that they're caves, right? But... Ah! A chest! Cool. Well, I need a weather defense potion for a little bit. Alright. I'm starting to get overweight, too. This is not looking good for us. Why is there nothing in my pockets right now? We need to... make some room. Somehow. I'm all out of arrows, too, so I can't use those anymore. Alright, I remember this part. So that one's gone. Let's go check upstairs, see if the uh, chest has been opened yet. Ah, 
All right, so one of them is uh... This means that there's only one left somewhere. All right, I can deal with that. Let us descend once more into the underground. So easy to get lost in here, though. So this is the first one, right? Alright. Let's check upstairs. But it also doesn't make any sense, because if I jump down here, there won't be any way to get back up. So I kind of assumed that this was the end of the dungeon crawl. So, I don't want to go there until I'm sure that that's that this is the end of the uh, dungeon. Where indeed... Okay, so killed everything here already. Man, these things are sure are Let's see ready there. That's another one of them, okay. There's the other one. It's on the other side. Okay. Cool. We know where to go now. But what's guarding it is what I'm curious about. I'm also totally expecting this game to pull one over me and just put like a fucking boss fight at the end. It's an interesting mushroom. Hmm. Desiccated corpse. With no eyes. It's actually a pretty fucked up corpse when you look closer. Ah! There's a... There's like a picture or something of um, someone here. One over there is supposed to be important. Two alchemy kits? Wonder why. Cool. Alright. That's been turned off. Indeed. We are about to find out which one of those it will be.
And I am very eager to find out. Let me tell you. Oh, that doesn't look spooky at all. It's uh, Industrial Revolution era techno technomological thingamajigger. Just taking screenshots, don't mind me. Whoa, did this used to be a person? Oh. That's kind of gross, actually. But fascinating. It would appear that a man has been fused into the rock. Somehow. And there is a book attached to his hand. Hmm. Very interesting. Very disturbing. That's very true. Beware the magic you use don't use you in return. To be fair, it looks like this might have been the last spell he ever cast. For whatever reason. I'm just kind of looking over his really grotesque like body and stuff. Where does the clothing end and the where does the skin end and the clothing begin? Who knows? Ah! Fuck! You scared me. Them boy, thank you for resubscribing. Ash! How are you today? That spooked the fuck out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! How you been, Vimboy? Ah, getting covered in stuff right now. I need to protect my face. It says it's a surprise that my eyeglasses have not shattered from all this. I need to take the time to drink some water as well. Your love is always appreciated, then, boy. How have you been? Long time no see. Feels like a long time anyway. Ow, 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 ow. Looking up. You're great? I'm glad to hear it. Excuse me while I attempt to punch the sandals out of my face. Maybe I should reduce the amount of objects thrown any time I get subscribed, subbed. Because it is quite a bit, isn't it? Oh, okay, it's ended. Alright, you guys ready to watch me get owned? I just know something terrible is going to happen as soon as I press this button. Nothing bad happened. Yet. Yeah. Where's the book? Fabled book used to cast runing spells with greater efficiency? Oh. Okay. Call those thongs. Uh, oh, sh I got a bad feeling about this. How do I, why do I feel like leaving is not going to be as easy as going, getting in, getting here? Well, let's casually walk to the end, to the exit, if chat. We're going to exit the using the exit I found earlier, though. 
since that seems very convenient and since it's just sort of placed there. And before I get killed... This is the way to the exit, right? That we found earlier. That's very true. Alright, here's the exit. Not here, but uh, over here. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, that was very convenient. I think we can say now that we've escaped the one of the darkest dungeons we've seen in this game yet. And I will take that old lantern now, so I can finally stop using my Ice Flame Torch. And we did it in two hours, huh, chap? So I guess we did not need to use the entire stream time just to complete this quest. Which... It's kind of a quest, but not really a quest. It's just one that I set up myself, since this game does not have that many formal quest quests. But I like that in some games, you know? Games that let you just decide for yourself what is important. Usually that's in the form of survival games, but I'm not really fond of those open-world survival games like Minecraft anymore. I kind of grew out of them, to be honest. But... When it's a game like this, where you get to choose your own, like... it's I don't want to say choose your own adventure, because choose your own adventures are those text-based uh, story-driven games, but it was kind of a choose-your-own-adventure thing, right? Now then, let's head back to Church and East, sell our loot, and be prepared for our trip for our next adventure, we're going to be heading. We're going to go ahead and try and defeat, get through this fort over here, visit the Cabal of the Wind Tower and these ancient ruins. Actually, no, we're going to visit the ancient ruins down here first. How's that sound? Let's head home first, though. Yeah, I agree. I think a lot of MMO. I bring out a lot of MMOs because they were the kind of games that treated you like you're stupid. And did everything for you and just did auto this, auto that. Auto this, auto that. Why don't you auto fuck off? <laughs> sort of thing. Oh boy. You know what? I better just make camp. I sleep for around four hours or so. That should be good, right? You're hungry and thirsty. Yes, yes, yes. I'm aware. I don't think godberries are going to kill me if I eat them. Right? Yeah. Drink those. Drink some tea to reduce my thirst. Alright. Let's do it. 
Gonna walk all the way home now. It's the start of evening, though. It's gonna be hard to see fairly soon. But it's a beautiful night. We really get this. We really get to see the night in this game, but this has got to be one of the more beautiful nights I've ever seen in a video game. Look at that. I wish there wasn't so much light pollution where I live so I could see that in real life too. More often, I should say. Did it stop snowing? Is it no longer s is the uh, snow gone? Based. Pog even. Poggy Woggy, if you prefer. I think what I'll do again is maybe I'll dump my stuff over here in the bandits hideout, run home, pick up my and come back later when I have a full load. Because now that it's so dark, ah, oh, it's a beautiful moon. There's like I think the moon like exploded or something too, because there's like shit flying around the moon too, you know. There's also the moon has like stuff orbiting around it. You can see like rings around the moon too. And look how dark it is. In Skyrim, it does never gets this dark. You have to install mods to make it like dark so that you can't see in front of your fucking face. Alright. We're gonna go back to sleep. Sleeping on the side of a mountain, am I right? Spend some time repairing. A little bit of remove the ambush. We got a lot done today. That was a really fun dungeon. Sucks for the guy that was inside it. Oh, yeah. It is no longer cold in Chersonis. Temper neutral. So. Granted, I don't lose my tent and stuff here. I should be able to just come back and grab my stuff later. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop the heaviest items. Don't even really need the mining pick, honestly. I usually stream for anywhere from three to four hours, so I'm actually going to be done in around one hour, around uh, forty-five minutes from now. Holy shit! It is beautiful out here. It's been snowing for so long. I forgot how it looks like when it's not snowing. More iron. Why am I mining iron when I'm supposed to be going home to return my stuff? Oh, I left my pickaxe there too. I'm dumb. Anyway, let's run back home, dump our stuff, sell some things, then run back here, pick up the rest, and repeat the process. Maybe we'll make back all the money we spent um, buying the fur armor. On Saturdays, I usually go a little bit longer. There are some days where I actually stream for four hours or more. The most I've ever streamed, the longest I ever streamed though, is around five. I usually start getting really tired around this time. Do 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 do
do do do do do do do do Yeah, fuck it, I'll keep this on. You try it, you stream for 12 hours? Yeah, I can never, I don't think I can ever do that. That's too much, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking die in the computer. I get burnt out. I can't play video games for as long as I used to in one sitting anymore. I get burnt out really fast. Oh, there's a Wendigo over there. Me no want, Wendigo. Leave me alone, Wendigo. I don't have any arrows to deal with your shit today. Or do I? He does cold damage. I'm wearing cold or anti cold armor. Let's see how ballsy I can be today. Oh, he is kicking my ass. Actually. Oh, nope. It appears that I bit off more, far more than I can chew. I should probably have used uh, par paralysis or something. Yep. Hey, there's another dungeon over there I can visit. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit, he's still following. It looks like he's suffering from confusion, though. So he got a nice wallop from my attack earlier. Unfortunately, he's still fairly strong even with the debuffs. Thankfully, I think I know the way home by, th by this point, so I should be able to make it right. He is still following me. Look at this motherfucker. He's probably going to be there waiting for me when I get back too. So I'll need to find him eventually. Where am I? Oh, I know where I am. <sighs> I could have used this too, and that would have made things so much easier. Eh, let's go home. Now, if I remember correctly, if we go left here, we should be in Sirzo fairly soon. It's so serene out here. to think this game used to be super stressful for me. Those are the days, huh, chap? Those were the days.
The snow is nice, I'm glad it's gone now and could see all this lush um, green again. Another detail I noticed, my suit seems to be reflecting the color of the surroundings, so it's no longer white, it's re more like a muddy gray. Interesting detail. I'm glad I have a place to call my home again, ever since I bought back my lighthouse. Yeah, there are. Just wait until you see the forest areas. When it rains, oh man. Almost home. Almost home. Good old Chersonese. I'm glad to hear that. Every time I think that I'm going to end up finishing this game prematurely, it feels like I find something else to do. Makes me wonder how long I'm going to be streaming this game for. It's been like... a few months now. <laughs> Alright then. Let's sell some stuff and make some moolah. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Straw hats are nice. Large emerald. Farewell, my friend. What can I do for you? All right. See, what are we nuking here? They have plate armor for sure. They have plate boots. I'm gonna hold on to this. This broken old lantern that I can't use. A cooking pot I don't need. A alchemy kit I don't need. Wait, why am I selling them to him? The alchemy kids go to the alchemy person. I'm tempted to sell these, but I'm guessing that these things are expensive, so I'm going to hold on to them. They're probably hard to get. I know, right? So many voice actors in this game. Alright, cool. Okay, I've got about... Good half an hour left the stream. Character, my character, be like, finally, fresh seat, fresh water, I can drink.
One second, please. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Now then, it's no longer snowing, so we don't really need this stuff. And we can... What the fuck? And I put this. Just bring the bare minimum with us once more. Which in this case will be... That needs to be cleaned before it can be drank again. Let's eat some food. Bring a sword with us. Actually... I'm gonna try these out for once. Cool. Look like a new bird, new person. since I used this set. With everything in hand, we're gonna go ahead and sprint towards where I left my stuff. And by then, I think we can call the stream. 
it's been a while since I used the sword and shield, uh, shield and uh, weapon combo too, so that's thought to be interesting. How does this skill work again? Okay, so brace is kind of important. I better put that somewhere. There we go. I should probably also go to sleep, huh? Bird up. Buttercup. What time is it in game? Oh, it's not even that. We'll sleep for a few hours. Alright, stamina is back up, health is back up, let's get going. It's only 5 in the evening, we can make it. We are running super fucking fast too, look at that. Look at me go. I think I know where we left our stuff too. So we should be able to get them back fairly quickly. As long as I don't try to bite the uh, when to go again. I'm kind of stubborn though and I tend to do stuff, stupid stuff like that. But we'll see. I need some gobberries for the road. I don't think I ever appreciate just how how much faster you run. That's weird. These things usually find come in packs. Where's the other one? Hmm. All right. I'm. Am I? Ugh, man, I'm already at half health. My fault, though. No matter. Need to get this done in like ha less than half an hour or so. Where are we going again? Over here. Where the bandit camp is. I should have just gone through the uh, shortcut in the church in East, but I was being a little bit careless. So we're going to have to go long round after all. Thankfully we run pretty fast. All things considered. Getting dark already?
Hmm. The ends justify the means. Very true. And just as I say that, we pass by a bird. A dead bird, I should say. Oh no, it's still there. I wonder if it has the same health as last time. Doesn't matter though, we don't have time to fight him right now. It almost feels like we're racing against the dark. Trying to get back to my tent and stuff before the shadow overwhelms it. Something tells me we're gonna make it though. Let's see, where do I keep my tent and stuff again? It was around here, right? I hope I'm able to find it because... Um, bruh. Oh no, I actually forgot where I kept where I dropped my stuff. It was around here. There should be like a tent just sitting out. In the middle of nowhere. That's true. I walked past that iron mine. And I thought said I was going to mine it later. And I dropped my pickaxe earlier. So it should be around here somewhere. Unless it's up here. So remember I was on rocky ground and I was trying to set up a camp set up a tent and they wouldn't let me set up a tent because it's too rocky. There it is. Cool. Now we just go to bed. Thanks for pointing that out. I totally forgot about Dyer and mine. Um, I hope the game didn't just crap. Okay. For a moment there, I was afraid the game crashed. Yeah. Awesome.
So, who wants to kill a Wendigo? A Wendigo? Be a nice capstone to today's session, don't you think? I have to be careful though. I'm not wearing any decent armor. I need to remember that dungeon over there for next time. Is that a dungeon or is that just a stash? Let's check it out really quick. Oh, okay. That's why. There's the bastard. Wow, I actually hit him. Does he know where I am? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And he's healed. almost got him. Can't expect much when you don't have any armor. I'm tempted to run back over there again with him only having one health and finish him off, but... Uh... Uh, this is... Oh. Shit. <laughs> I got teleported all the way back here. Oops. I thought I was... I got baited. I thought the game was going to send me back to... Gerzo. It sent me back here instead. It was like, nope. You don't get to run away. You have to finish him off. Alright, fine. I don't have any food left either. I can't eat this raw. Drink some water, I guess. It is destiny. I must fight the Wendigo and win, or... Um, stuff will happen. Is the Wendigo even still there? Let me eat some berries. I think the Windows Wendigo might be gone because... Yeah, the Wendigo is missing. Not on me right now, no. If the Wendigo still has the same health as before, I might just be able to sniper shot him. But he seems to be missing.
Oh, he's over here. I was going the wrong direction. One second. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Bullying the Wendigo once more. I don't have... Come on. Ah, uh, he's healed. I'm not even sure if I can do it now, honestly. Is it finally going to tell me back to Serzo? So I could stop embarrassing myself? Yeah, close. Alright, we're back home. Finally. Let's sell the rest of this junk. <laughs> what can I do for you? All right. Brutal spear. Cat plate boots. Don't need that. Is there something you need? Mm-hmm. Okay. I still think it's weird that they don't sell padded armor, padded armlets and whatever are here, since this is a place where all their soldiers are covered in padded armaments, but, you what? know, whatever. All right. You said it would make sense, right? That they would sell padded stuff here. Yeah, I can't complain. Hmm. Well, thanks, chat. I appreciate it, guys. One second. Uh, good morning, Asha. Unfortunately, you caught me at, like, the end of the stream. Well, in six minutes. I was going to switch to just chatting. Uh, it's the same game. I play Outward every Wednesday. Or so. <laughs> I appreciate you visiting regardless, though. I was going to switch to just chatting mode for now. And talk about stuff. Why is it not letting me sleep? <laughs> so what you've been up to? Long time no see. Well, maybe a few days, but same thing. 
Um, the other one. Are you talking about the one on Monday? <laughs> oh, that one. The Metrovania uh, Anna Mutation. I think before that I was playing Lost Ruins and then we finished that up. So we're making our way through Anna Mutation next. Beep boop. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. I imagine. That's cool though. One of these days you'll be able to, well, one of these days we'll be able to hang out and chat um full time, I'm sure. So basically I just wanted to go over that uh so Friday I have a Guilty Gear Strive tournament, same time, which is five PM Central Standard Time to eight to eight PM Central Standard Time. The tournament's actually at seven. And check-ins at 6, so you don't need to come the entire time. I usually start at 5 mainly to um, practice, and also since that's, since that's my usual streaming hours. I've also been invited to another podcast on Friday evening. That will be at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, which for reference is about an hour from now. I'm not sure what the uh, topic will be this time. It was kind of, we kind of went all over the place last time I had a podcast with uh, Luke Zhao. But this time, it's going to be with another friend of ours named Bloody Karma, who is also a VTuber. So, we're going to be doing that late in the evening. <laughs> awesome. And aside from that, I know we haven't played any VR games in a couple weeks. If there's nothing going on next Friday, Friday, we'll get back into playing Project Wingman. I was going to have another Bob Ross stream this this Saturday morning, but I got some stuff to do at home. So I may have to cancel that, or I might just reschedule it for later in the day. Other than that, there's one other thing I'd like to... Well, a few other things. Um, the community challenge give Lois a sheer heart attack has raised 35,000 so far out of 69,000. When that's when that reaches its goal, you all will get to choose whatever horror game, whatever horror game you like for me to play on stream. Usually, there is actually quite a bunch of horror games I don't really enjoy, but I decided it'd be fun if I let people uh, spook the shit out of me with which with whatever. I'm open to trying new things, and even if they're a game full of jump scares, I don't mind. I'll just deal with it. I guess. I did. I generally find that after the first couple of jump scares that they kind of stop being scary anyway. So aside from that, that's all I really want to talk about. I'm surprised by how fast it started growing ever since I reached 400 on Twitter and 200 on Twitch. I'm actually going to be reaching 500 on, twi on Twitter fairly soon. I actually already did a giveaway for 400, so it kind of feels awkward. I don't know what to offer for 500. May I'll make the may I'll make the next big um, goal one thousand or something. Aside from that, let's go ahead and look for someone to raid tonight. Haven't read really Gooby, haven't hung out with a Gooby in a while. He's playing Borderlands 2, right, at the moment. Not exactly the same as. as Outward. It's a FPS RPG for one thing. A Diablo yeah. clone, but an FPS. But he's a pretty fun person. Very active. He is a slime, if you couldn't tell from his name. Let's say you go ahead and say hi to him. It's been a while since we've done a collab together. We should probably get on that. Or at least remind him that I'm still alive. Or remind each other that we're still alive. <laughs> it's 
Typically, the rate message I like using is some variation of lulz rate. You can use one of my many emojis available here, or you can use one of your own. Thanks again. Once again, I would like to thank everyone for stopping by. We also got rated by a new rated today as well by Askaroth, which was always appreciated, and we got some bits in. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Feel free to copy pasta that and we'll get going. Thanks, Askaroth. Much appreciated. And Venboy, once again, thank you so much for resubscribing. Bye, Venboy. Bye, everyone. No problem. Thank you, guys for stopping by as always. Have a good night now. Oh, thank you so much for the raid, lols. How was your stream? Thank you, Wayne. Sure, sure. Like from the middle. Yes, lol raid. It's good, uh, I'm just playing, uh, some Borderlands. It's just a chill stream. I don't even have my DP bro for it, though. Gotta run it. I get that. Stop showing me those things. Is there a way you can turn that?